Wow, I'm damn hungry. It's so good. Wow. Oh, wow. Hey everyone, it's Aaron once again. So in today's episode, we are using the most luxurious and probably the most expensive ingredient so far in our official series, lobsters. We are preparing lobster thermidor, a classic French dish not commonly found in restaurants and dining establishments around Singapore. The first lobster we have is a fresh lobster. So unfortunately, this guy decided to give up on life 30 minutes before our shoot. The next lobster is frozen lobster. Okay, so now I'll cut the lobster in half so that I can remove the meat and I'll steam the shell in the oven. So when you cut open the lobster, you will see all the guts and stuff like that. So what I typically do is I use a spoon to remove the guts. Try to extract some meat from the claws as well. So when you cut right, you will find that its natural juice is coming out. Try your best to retain the natural juice because later on we can use it for our cooking. So while cutting the frozen lobster, I noticed that the juice isn't as much as the fresh one. So the reason why I'm not throwing away the shell is because we will cook the lobster and the meat will be put back into the shell. So the shell is a very important factor for our presentation. Okay, now that everything has been prepared. Okay, now that everything has been prepared, let's start cooking the lobster filling for the thermidor. So you can use oil or butter, but remember, butter is the heavily ingredient of the kitchen. Okay, then I'll start by sauteing the garlic. Then you can add your chopped onion. Okay, next you will add in cut button mushrooms. Okay, after the mushroom has been sauteed for a while, you can throw in our lobster meat, salt and pepper, paprika powder, and lastly, Dijon mustard. Okay, I'll add some of fresh spinach to it. So remember earlier on, I kept all the lobster essence. So we'll be adding some to it right now. So this lobster essence will enhance the taste of the dish. Then I'll add some fresh thyme to it. Okay, lastly, we'll add some cream. Just enough for the cream to coat all the ingredients. So next, we're going to prepare the hollandaise sauce used for the lobster thermidor. So make sure you have a mixing bowl. But sorry, uh, this is a negative demonstration. Because actually, you need to prepare a hot water bath and your mixing bowl needs to be big enough so that it can rest on top. But today, we'll just work around it, okay? I'll start with three egg yolks, some salt and pepper, then one teaspoon of okay, Dijon mustard. So I'll just add a dash of white vinegar. Because white vinegar is very sharp, some people cannot accept it. Like too sharp, too sour, you really... Okay, so I added like about two pinches of sugar. Of course, you need something sweet to balance out the sharpness of the vinegar. So, under a hot water bath, we can start to whisk our egg yolks with everything inside. Look at this. It doesn't fall off my whisk that easily now, so it's a bit thickened already. It's time for you to add your clarified butter. It just helped me to drizzle bit by bit, like a small and steady stream. Go again, last time. What do we do that? Too fast, slower. Okay, can. Thank you. So, thanks to Joshua, the hollandaise is done. So, you see, it's super thick. So, now let's start to assemble the lobster. So as usual, I will have two tasters with me. Today, I'll have Avin, my editor, and Rachel, our social media guru. <laughs> so today, we'll be trying uh, lobster thermidor. Actually, you're too damn lucky because I only cook this dish for like my VIPs, like the Brunei princess and the ambassador of the French. Guess a royalty now. <laughs> okay, oh, that's a lot. Mm, it's good. Wow, I'm damn hungry, it's so good. <laughs> Wow. Oh wow. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, this is a mushroom, is it? Yeah, it's not lobster. <laughs> oh my god. It's <laughs> supposed to taste lobster. I got it. Okay, so for you, after you taste it, it's the other way around. I feel it's the other way around because um, this one has a more pronounced bite, like it's firmer. I get what you mean. 
and it sounds like softer. Mm. So I feel like the, this is the frozen one because it's softer. It sounds crunchier. Like there's more bite. Yeah, there's more bite. And mm. that's also sweeter. So I mm. think that's mm. the fresh one. This one's a bit this tougher. Better. I wouldn't say like very tough but like... Yeah, not very tough but mm. you did a good job if that's the frozen one. But I do like the other one. Mm. Okay, so... Mm. End of the day, which one you like the best? Yeah. Oh? This is the fresh, this is the frozen. Same. Wow! Oh my Guys, god, we got it right! We got it right. Yeah, so for appearance wise, they may think that oh, because oh it's more red, so, so it's yeah. fresh. But actually, it's frozen. Then this one is actually the fresh one. Wow! So, yes. Wow! Perfect. It's our signature. Cheers. So thanks for joining us in our most expensive and atas episode. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. You see lah, it's so good. I already finished it already. Okay, I'll see you. Bye bye. So you think it's worth it to get a fresh one no. from the supermarket? Yes. Will you? If you cook it for us. Yeah, if you cook it for us. <laughs>